Hey guys, it's Olivia, and today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate chip banana bread. One of my favorite desserts slash breakfast foods. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn these into this. So you just want to grab your bananas and break them into a bowl and make sure that they're in manageable uh, size pieces. If you want to just go crazy and not break them up at all, then you'll have a fun time mashing it because as you can see, even with them broken up, I was struggling to mash them. I think mashing the bananas is the most irritating slash rewarding part of making banana bread because once you get it mashed, it's like, Heck yeah, I'm amazing, but during the mashing process, it's pretty annoying. And then you're just going to add vanilla and some coconut oil. I haven't tried it without the coconut oil, but I have made oil-free banana bread before and it was really good. So maybe I'll try this recipe sometime without the oil. And then in a separate bowl, you're just going to add in the flour and the brown sugar or uh, coconut sugar and the baking soda and baking powder. And then you're gonna stir it around. <laughs> so yeah, if your sugar was kind of clumped together like mine was, just make sure you get all the lumps out or else you'll have like big sugar clumps in your banana bread, which I mean, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but you probably just wanna get the clumps out. <laughs> and then you're just adding your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients. Uh, you can also add your wet to your dry. I really don't think it makes a difference. And stir it up and movie magic go Woo! yeah <laughs> so there we go adding the second half i just add them in two parts because i don't want the flour to like fly everywhere while i'm stirring it and there we go wow i'm so fast at this and then you're just going to add in your chocolate chips which i did really slowly because the hole in the bag was really small and i was too lazy to cut it bigger so yeah then you're just going to stir it up and i realized when i was making this video that i'm kind of a really aggressive baker like i like tap my scoop really hard against the bowl to try and get everything out and i just kind of really aggressively stir everything so now that i see it back i'm like wow that's a little bit aggressive okay and then the parchment paper i mean you can just grease a pan or use like a silicone one or anything that you want. I just use parchment paper because I find it the easiest to clean up, but then this happens, which is probably the second most irritating part of baking, but it's not too hard. You just kind of like smush out the sides and then make everything even. And then you want to put it in the oven at 350 degrees. <laughs> just kidding, not actually five years later, but it felt like that. Uh, it was actually one hour exactly, I think, exactly 60 minutes later that it was done, but just make sure that it has a nice crack in the top and it's not all gooey when you take it out. So yeah, I hope you guys make this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe for lots more recipe videos, and I will see you next time. Bye!